Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking you through the player settings that are in the player inventory component for Survival Game Kit V2. Um, these are going to be most of the sort of main player settings. Um, you can find all of them in the player inventory component, class defaults, and that's where you'll find these settings. So I'm just going to do a quick run through of what they are, what they do, um, that sort of thing. So we'll start off at the top, uh, which is Thirst. Um, if, uh, if ticked on, the system will use Thirst. Um, by default, those will actually be on. Um, then we have Thirst Reduction. This is how much Thirst is uh, reduced um, when in these various states. Um, so you can set that amount. Um, typically you want, well, the system by default has higher values for you know sprinting and things like that. Um, Max first is, is the max first, starting first, starting first. Um, the reduction time is how often these reduction values um, happen. So by default, this is one second. Um, dehydration damage is how much damage um, per um, dehydration time. So one damage per second will be taken by default. Um, so that's the first settings. They're all fairly self-explanatory. Um, I'm not going to do uh, so. The hunger is exactly the same, but it it affects the hunger. You can set the reduction settings in the reduction uh, option, and then you've got all the sort of starvation um, times and all of that. Um, quick slots. Uh, this is the number of quick slots you'll start with um, as the player. Um, so by default, this is four. Um, I believe if you hit play, it's actually five because um, no, it sorry, it is four. Yeah, so the default is four, um, and then you can set the max number of quick slots um, because uh, certain clothing can um, add quick slots to the player, but um, this max will basically stop it from you know having loads and loads of quick slots. So you can set this however high or low uh, you'd like. Um, interaction, this is how far the player can interact with things. So 300 is three meters. This is a pretty good value. Um, if you wanna go higher, you can, of course or lower. Um, then we have the interaction trace channel. Um, you want to make sure that this is pretty much always on interaction. This is to do with the collision it uses to detect uh, things that it can interact with. Um, if you're an advanced user and you really know what you're doing, you can change it if you like, but uh, there's not much reason. Um, it should just be interaction. Uh, interaction debug, this will basically show you the actual um, collision check, so you'll be able to see it in real time. Um, if you want, so you can set that to turn on if you like. Um, harvest amount, so this is when you collect um, interactable resources like the bushes or the um, tree stumps that are uh, included. Um, and allow interaction while action. Um, so this is if, say for example, you're equipping a weapon, if this is true, you can also pick up items uh, in the world. Um, you may want to disable this. Um, if you have equip animation, sorry, not equip. If you have pickup animations for your items, um, because you could get a problem where you, your animation gets cancelled by the fact that he's you know equipping a weapon or something. So by default, this is on. But if you're using animations for picking up, you may want to disable this. Um, it's up to you. Um, max health and starting health, um, pretty obvious. Um, stamina. Uh, this is your max and starting stamina values. Then you have your reduction amounts. So um, the only states that reduce stamina are sprinting. So we've got the sprinting stakes here. Um, then we have the um, reduction times. So this is how, so for example, 0 0.25 means that um, four times a second, the uh, two stamina will be reduced when sprinting. Um, that's That's kind of how to read this. Uh, stamina recharge is um, how much stamina is recharged when you're in these states. Um, and then um, these are the states that actually reduce stamina. So you can see um, I've got both the sprinting in here and they're both ticked on. So it knows that it wa we want to reduce stamina when in those states. Um, and then recharge time. So um, for example, idle is 0 0.5. So uh, twice a second, um, the uh, one stamina will be added to um, to our current stamina because uh, our amount here in the recharge is set to one. 
So um, that's pretty much it for stamina. Movement speeds, this is where you set your movement speeds. You do not do it in the character blueprint. Um, it's controlled by this. Um, you can set different movement speeds for different states. So um, that's set here. Um, if you're using a holdable, um, the holdable has its own uh, movement speeds as well. Um, so these will only affect the player when there's no holdable equipped. Um, so that's just something to remember. Um, crafting details, I have a separate video on crafting, so you can check that out. Um, notification, uh, use notification sounds. Um, this does what it says, it, will, it won't play sounds if this is false. Um, and this is the sound played when there's like an error warning. So if the player tries to um, add an item somewhere where it doesn't fit or something like that, this sound will be played. Um, then we have death settings. So clear inventory on death. <clears throat> This means that um, if the player res if this is true, when the player respawns after death, all of his items will be gone. Um, if you untick this, then he'll still have his items even after he dies. Uh, clear learnt recipes. Um, again, I go over that in the crafting recipes, but basically, um, if you have uh, recipes turned on to learnable recipes turned on if this is true then those will all be wiped on death if false it won't um, delete player save on death it kind of explains what that does um, dead body despawn time so this will take after the player dies 500 seconds later his body will be destroyed and will disappear and then we have our uh, death animations here as well Next we've got leaning, so by default uh, leaning is disabled um, when the player doesn't have any holdable. So these settings are only for um, when the player doesn't ha isn't holding an item. Um, so by default these are off, but um, again these are self-explanatory. Um, allow leaning in combat stance or um, standard stance, uh, but these are off um, again because um, when the player is not holding anything. Um, the system doesn't allow him to lean unless you want to turn these on. Um, stances, so default stance is just the stance that the character will automatically go to whenever it's not holding something. Um, so you can set this to combat if you if you really wanted to, um, but standard is, is the default. Um, and then allow stance change um, is turned off. Again, this only affects when the character isn't holding anything. Um, by default this is off because there's no combat stance for when you're not holding something um, but you can enable this if you would like to <clears throat> take damage sound is the sound that will be played when the when the character takes damage so you can set this to anything you like um, equipment damage mapping basically the way this works is if the player is shot in the head hitbox it it's telling the system um, hey damage the helmet the players hit in the arms, then damage the shirt, chest, tactical rig, and so on. This is used to damage equipment that the character's wearing. Um, you know, you can set um, multiple hitboxes to hit, you know, different equipment. Um, it's really up to you. You can play about this how you like. Um, and then can damage affect equipment is set to true. So that's if, you know, damage is taken, it can damage the durability of items that you're wearing. Um, Actor repair range, so this is just um, when repairing items, um, you can set it to require the player be near a certain actor, and this is the distance that the player has to be in uh, for that to work. So that's what this is for. Um, allow dropping held items means, you know, if this is true, you can instantly drop the item that you're currently holding uh, into the world. Inventory details. So this only covers the um, player's pockets. So when you're not wearing any equipment, this is the only inventory that's uh, available. Um, can contain items needs to be true. Um, pockets is, is the UI name. So if you want to change that, you can do that here. Um, inventory cells and columns. So this is how many inventory slots it has and how many slots wide it is. Um, but these settings, um, again, I go through this information in the um, containers sorry item containers uh, video uh, in a lot more detail but as a quick overview these two settings won't be used if you're using a custom grid layout 
I'll talk about that in a sec. Again, there'll be a separate video for, the, for that because it's uh, quite an in-depth topic. But um, moving down, we have use weight. If true, it will use weight. Um, by default, the weight is quite heavy. Um, this will probably be different when you see it, but uh, this is, you know, if we want to use weight and this is the max weight. Container restrictions, you can basically set it so that any items listed in restricted items can either be the only items allowed uh, in the inventory or items that are not allowed. So you can use that. Um, container type, you need to leave this as container for the player. Um, allow container window should be disabled. Um, item limit, you can basically make it so that only a certain number of items can be uh, in the player's inventory at one time. And then this is the number of those items. Custom grid layouts, um, again, you can check out the container item video because that has more detail. Basically, this allows you to set up um, the uh, grid layouts that are sort of um, custom. They're not just a square. You can have different shapes and different um, sort of chunks of inventory. Um, so by default, this is using four, but you know I could set this to maybe 10 and uh, I can quickly show you guys. If I set it to 10 and I hit play, you can see that I've got this layout. But if I go and set it to, um, say, <clears throat> five and hit play again, I will have this layout. So uh, you can find you know more information in documentation about custom grid layouts. Um, there will also be a full list of you know pictures and the name of each grid. So you can quickly scroll through and see what all the different uh, grid layouts are like. Um, Currently there's only 14, but I will add more um, in future updates. So there may be more when you're looking at this. Um, and then lastly, we have starting items. Um, does what it says, it adds the starting items. So you can add as many as you like just by pressing the uh, plus button. You can set the item. The, the data table needs to be the master item list. And then we can set any item we like in here. Um, I'm just gonna clear that for now. Next up, we have health regen. So you can have it so that health automatically regens over time. Um, this is the amount of health it will regen per tick. You can also set it so that um, health will only regenerate if the health, sorry, if the thirst and hunger are over a certain value. So um, you know you can have it so that uh, by default it's set to 50. So if the player's below 50 in either hunger or thirst, then health won't regen. Um, then you have the regen tick time. So every two seconds, five health will be regened. Um, next, we've got full damage. If it's enabled, you can set um, the, the character will take full damage. Uh, full damage, this is the starting full damage amount. Um, this is how long the character has to be falling for him to take damage. By default, this is disabled. But you can use that if you like. Um, this is basically how much um, damage sorry, how much um, time the character has to spend falling um, before the full damage value uh, increases. And then full damage velocity is the um, uh, speed at which the character has to be moving before he takes damage. Again, by default, this is disabled, but you can use that if you like. Um, crafting recipes is... Uh, I go into this into the in the uh, crafting video, so you can check that out. Um, and then we have um, random item spawning. You can enable um, uh, in the player inventory. Again, I have a different video for that, so you can check that out. Um, but basically, this allows you to spawn random items in the player's inventory. You can either do it uh, on a timer or on the start. Um, if you tick always spawn items, um, then it will kind of force it to always try and spawn an item. Um, if this isn't true, then sometimes it won't spawn items. So it's not broken. It just sometimes it won't because it doesn't, it does kind of a dice roll and sometimes that doesn't want to spawn any items. Um, and you can, uh, you know, set the spawner types. So these are the types of items it will spawn. Um, and so on. Again, if you want more detail, there'll be an item spawning video uh, you can go and check out and that will explain those settings a bit better. Um, use destruction isn't relevant um, for the player inventory. Um, that you, you might not even see that when, uh, when you uh, 
have a look in yours. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, so this is where you can really find all of the main player settings. There's um, a few settings in the character component, which I can show you quickly. We'll open this up and I will go to the, uh, sorry, bring that over to this screen. And there are a few settings in here. So in the class defaults, we have um, the clipping trace channel. So this is to do with weapons and if they're um, going inside objects, it will like move the weapon away. This is that trace channel. Most people will, won't ever have to touch this. Visibility will be fine. You can enable uh, debug mode. This will show you um, the trace that's being done, um, which checks if the weapon's colliding with something. This can be useful if you have something in your level that's like blocking it and the weapon's kind of um, getting moved away, even if that you can't see anything. You can use this to sort of um, detect what, what's doing that. Um, Camera, this is our default starting camera, so you can set it to first person if you like. Um, allow camera toggle, whether or not the, the player can change camera view. So yeah, you can lock it to first person or third person if you like. Um, is lootable on death, which means when the player dies, uh, are, can other players loot him? Um, so you can disable that if you like. Um, camera shake, so you can enable or disable camera shake. And then you have the um, actual camera shake um, blueprints um, if you don't know about those you can look that up epic have documentation on those um, that's you know a built-in engine thing that you can uh, check out um, this is the sprint start speed so at this speed is when the sprint shake is when when it's going to start and that that's pretty much it so i've just gone through hopefully it hasn't taken too long um, just some of the main settings and uh, you know explain those um, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment um, don't forget to join our Discord, which will be linked in the description. And um, thank you for watching.